Prisons are classified as total institutions. This term, total institution, was popularized by Irving Goffman, a sociologist who is best known for his work around the sociological theory of symbolic interactionism. In a basic definition, a total institution is one in which similarly positioned individuals are cut off from the rest of society, privacy is limited or non-existent, and every aspect of life is administered or controlled heavily by the institution. Sounds like a prison, right? But prisons aren't the only total institutions. Uh, Goffman, in fact, identified five different types of total institution. The first group are institutions that are established to care for people who are viewed as harmless or vulnerable. This would include something like an orphanage or, like this picture here, a nursing home. The second group of institutions are established to care for people who are incapable of looking after themselves and are an unintended threat to society. So we might think of a mental hospital or a mental institution. The third group of institutions established to protect uh, communities against those who are intentional threats to society. And this is where we would see jails or prisons come in as total institutions. The fourth group of institutions are those that are established to more efficiently pursue some sort of work-like purpose. And this might be a military barracks or maybe even a boarding school. And finally, the fifth group uh, of institutions are those that are established as retreats from the world. And so we would include some sort of religious institution or um, something like a convent or a monastery. We wouldn't normally consider these other institutions as having something in common with prisons, but in the way that the institution operates, they have a lot more in common uh, with prisons than the first glance would indicate. 